Chris and I. Enough. We shouldn't even be talking about this. Excuse me. How are you alive? In Yemen. What happened to you, Michael? No. I'm not moving another inch until you tell me what the hell's really going on here. jurisdiction to exonerate our crimes. He used that as a legal fulcrum. He told me he could put us all away for life within the mandate of the law unless... unless I went to work for him. I was this Poseidon guy? A psychopath. A frustrated policy wonk in the CIA who felt he could do better than his superiors. So he created a cell within the CIA called 21 Void, implementing his own intelligence operations. <laughs> and he needed my help, breaking out people imprisoned all over the world. Terrorists, political dissidents, rogue agents. And if I did it, you and Sarah, you'd go free. Your record's expunged, but... Was rough. I wasn't allowed to have contact with any of you, including my son, Michael. So Michael Schofield was dead, and over the years, I assumed the new names. Can you let us? The most recent. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you reach out to me? I didn't have a choice. Poseidon made that very clear. How? At first I said no. I wouldn't do it. And within weeks, Sarah was incarcerated, beaten. And so I gave in. Everything I did, I did for family, for you, for Sarah, for Mike. So none of you would ever have to spend another day inside a prison cell or, or live a life on the run. Look at us now. They're starting to search the buildings. Train station. Airport. Train station. 